Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense, and today we're going to be taking a look at this one right here, Zadig and Voltaire. This is Helm. This fragrance I have not reviewed before. I've not done a first impression on this, but it did make my fall top 10 list for designers this year, 2020. So I figured since it's in my top 10, I should probably go ahead and review it. So that's what we're doing today. We're also going to take a look at this presentation like always. So let's jump into this. All right, guys, first up, the presentation. You got here the name of the house, name of the fragrance size and concentration right there on the front, the logo on the top, nothing on the sides, ingredients on the back, and then your batch code on the bottom, which is 9043PM. And then we have the bottle. And this is nice and heavy, thick glass. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration, everything right there on the front. It's also on the back. You have the logo on top of the cap and then your badge code is etched into the glass on the bottom here. One thing to notice about this is it looks like there's kind of a piece broken out right there. And that's actually where the female version of the fragrance fits in. So you can kind of put them together if you have them both. And let me go ahead and waste a spray for you guys right there. Nice. Okay, so this fragrance, I know it's gotten a little bit of hype, uh, but I haven't paid too much attention to it. I knew that the fragrance was out there and it was kind of on a short list to buy, but I just never got around to picking it up. I never added it into any purchases or anything like that. And the price seems to fluctuate on it up or down. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can find it around 40 bucks right now. As of this video, the only discounter that has it is Fragrance X and it's going for a bit more than 40 bucks. It's going for around 75. So do be aware of that. This is one of those fragrances that kind of fluctuates up and down and it seems to go in stock and out of stock and in stock and out of stock pretty frequently. So like I said, I knew this fragrance was out there, but what really got my attention is two of my friends in the fragrance community, Timmy at Imagine Scent, Tommy at Studio Scents, both told me that they loved it, that I should check it out. So I was like, okay, I guess I will. Now the note breakdown for this one is really simple. Five notes. So not a whole lot going on in terms of the note breakdown. There is grapefruit, black pepper, incense, vanilla, and sandalwood. When you first spray this on, you do get a little bit of grapefruit, but not a whole lot, at least not for me. I can pick it up slightly, but it's not really attention grabbing grapefruit. It's not really juicy and fresh and bright. That being said, this is not a bright kind of fragrance. I know what gave that away, the all black bottle. There's also some black pepper there in the opening, so you're getting this spicy pop right away, and that spiciness continues on through the life of the fragrance. But pretty quickly, this segs into what is the main part of the fragrance, the focal point of the fragrance, and that's going to be incense and vanilla. It's a creamy, lightly resinous vanilla. Not that the vanilla is light, but it has this light balsamic kind of tinge to it. And then incense kind of wafting out, seeping out of that vanilla. The incense is dark. Of course, it's a bit smoky. And that's going to be the main thing you get from this fragrance is that vanillic, dark, smoky kind of vibe with some sweetness around the back of it. Through the mid, I get kind of a powdery feeling at times. It's going to be mainly from that vanilla and sandalwood combo, the sandalwood and the base. So it's a little bit powdery through the mid. The longer it stays on my skin though, it kind of transitions from being powdery smelling to more dusty smelling. Now I know that might sound like semantics and that they're the same, but if you smell the fragrance, you'll see what I'm talking about. At first, you know, as it heads from the opening through the mid, it's a little more creamy, a little more powdery. As it dries down longer, it gets a little bit darker, a little bit dustier. And another thing about this fragrance, it is very dry, a very dry scent. Uh, like I said, there's a little grapefruit in the top, but not a whole lot. And once that grapefruit goes away, there is nothing else there that's going to give you any sort of freshness or zinginess. Just a very dry incense vanilla sandalwood. It sounds pretty simple, and it is. The fragrance is not hyper complex or anything like that, but it smells awesome. And if you told me that there was a leather note in this fragrance, I'd believe you. Even though it's not an official note, it definitely smells like it has a leathery sort of edge to it as it heads through the mid 
into the dry down. And I know some other people have brought up other notes, uh, things like tobacco, and so that they get a little bit of that in there. And I see what people are talking about, but for me, if I were going to say one note, that's not an official note that I pick up, leather. So that's what this one is. Dark, semi-sweet, dusty in the dry down. Vanilla, sandalwood, incense. Mm, not necessarily in that order, more <laughs> incense, vanilla, sandalwood, and maybe some leather. One more thing with this fragrance, it can be a little bit cloying. It can come across a little bit overwhelming. So don't go crazy heavy with the trigger. It could even overwhelm yourself. I usually spray five, six sprays with this one. That seems to work pretty well. Anything above that though, it starts to kind of overwhelm my senses and uh, it's not really pleasant to wear at that point. So for me, five, six sprays, that seems to be the sweet spot. Let's talk really quickly about the performance on This Is Him. For me, it's actually quite good. Now, as a caveat, I have read from some people that they don't get very good performance from this one. I've read some people say that the longevity just isn't there for them. The projection is not there for them. For me though, it is. So I can just tell you guys my own experience. I'm getting eight plus hours from this one off skin, not off clothes, so eight plus hours off skin. For the first hour and a half or so, it has good projection. Again, it can come across cloying. Um, and then after an hour and a half, it kind of settles in a little bit closer to the skin. So overall, eight plus hours longevity, hour and a half plus of uh, projection. I'm not gonna knock it for that. I'm not gonna complain about that. Really solid. It is obviously more of a fall and winter time fragrance. This is one I would not wear in summer, period. I know a lot of times I'll tell you, wear whatever you want, whenever you want. And I still think that if you wanna wear this in summer, go for it. But for me, the, the cloying parts of this would not work well in high heat. So fall and winter for me, not really a springtime scent. It doesn't really evoke memories or thoughts of, you know, the world springing back to life. This one is, again, more dark. Kind of like right now, it looks, <laughs> it looks dark where I'm shooting, even though it's not up there. As I mentioned, this fragrance made my fall top 10 for this year, my designer list. So obviously you already know that I like it. I like it a lot. It does remind me a little bit, and I said this in the fall top 10, maybe something that, um, Isi Miyake would release as one of their uh, flankers to the Nui DC line. It's not the exact same as those fragrances, but it gives you a similar feel with that incense. I think the quality on it is quite good. I don't know about that pricing right now, $75. I, I think it's actually technically like $76.49, but that is pretty steep. That's pretty steep. I don't know that I would want to pay that much for this one. I think in that you know, $40 range, maybe even 50, that's where you want to be, preferably in the 40. At that range, it's a really solid buy. Can't knock it at all. Once you start to get up in that $75 range, getting closer to $100, it's more difficult to say that it's a good buy because you're in the, the upper echelon of designer pricing, at least at discounters, once you get there. I mean, I wouldn't regret it at 75. I just think it's better at 40 or 50. Really solid fragrance though. Glad that my friends turned me on to this one. Really nice for the cooler weather. So there we go. Zadig and Voltaire, this is him. I do think it's a really solid fragrance. It is not overly complex. It does have a good amount of density off my skin. Like I said, can be a little bit cloying, but if you like fragrances that are very dry vanilla and incense predominantly, along with a little bit of sandalwood, bits of spice, and the most fleeting grapefruit, <laughs> then check it out. Dark, semi-sweet, dry, smoky. That's, this is him. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me with this one. If you smell this fragrance, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today, and uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Stay safe out there.